A good example to uh, sort of demonstrate how the engine oil market has changed is to actually uh, look at the BMW Long Life 04 specification. That was a specification that was uh, developed in uh, 2004 and that's really in response to the Euro 4 going to Euro 5 emissions legislation. That specification was actually designed around after-treatment systems, specifically diesel after-treatment systems such as diesel particulate filters. So if you look at the specification you'll, you'll start to see restrictions on elements, ash level, uh, levels of phosphorus. One of the key engine tests in that specification was a gasoline durability test called the N52. And that single engine test made you design your additive packages uh, to meet that. But when you start to move from going from Euro 5 into Euro 6, you start to see even further changes. Um, a key one that's happened for gasoline vehicles has been the introduction or, of uh, gasoline direct injection. Those tests now are no longer sufficient for their newer engines. So what they've done, they went out and developed a gasoline direct injection uh, engine test and they then put that in their long life 04 specification. They need to make sure that the oils that are meeting that specification are also designed for the latest generation of engines. They need to provide protection against those engines. But what you're seeing BMW do here is long life 04, 2004. Long life 04, 2016, going into 2017, 18 and beyond. They've actually made that individual specification much more difficult to pass. And for me, as a, a formulator, what it's meant is we've had to develop new products containing new chemistry, new technology to enable us to meet the much harder requirements of BMW Long Life 04.